friends in this video i am going to talk to you about the choice of iul power for patients who have astigmatism and you are not able to provide toric iuls because the patient may not be able to afford it or for any other reason so what would be the choice of iul power in case you are not able to provide a toric iul so in this case, the patient has a cylinder of uh, 2.19 diopters, and if you go for a toric lens, it is asking you to put an 18 diopter uh, toric lens, a uh, T6 model, 18 diopter T6 model, and you should land up with the metropia, less cylinder, little spherical power. But in this case, for whatever reason, you are not being able to go for a toric lens, say so patient is not affording, what would be the IUL power for the non-toric model then would you still implant an 18 diopter lens a non-toric lens uh, say SN60WF the IQ the Hill RBF if you calculate the non-toric the Hill RBF is still asking you 18 diopter and it gives you a spherical equivalency of 0 0.09 but remember this is only spherical equivalency you could have a minus one, a plus two cylinder at 90 or 180 degrees, and the patient's a spherical equivalency would be zero. So rather than basing your choice of IUL on the basis of the spherical equivalent here, I would suggest you to consider the cylinder value of the patient. You are choosing a non-toric model. So take half of the cylinder value so the half would be roughly around one diopter, 1.10 diopters. So take one diopters and subtract this from the 18 diopters. So if you had gone for a toric lens, you would have put a toric lens of 18 diopters, spherical power. So now that you are choosing a non-toric lens, reduce this 18 diopters by one, you get a 17 diopter or a 16.5 diopter you could use. To re-emphasize the point, if you put an SN60WF, say 18 diopters, which is a non-toric IUL, you will leave the patient with a lot of spherical powers. Cylinder will of course be there because you are not. This is a non-toric lens, but you will also leave a lot of spherical power uh, with the patient. So instead of going for an 18 diopter, take half of this cylinder value, reduce this 18 diopters by one diopters or 1.5 diopters, and your choice of IUL powers could be 16.5 or 17 diopters. So to confirm uh, this concept, this is the variant page. And uh, if you see that 16.5 diopters is actually leaving the patient uh, with a predicted spherical power of minus 0 0.08, so almost dimetropia. Yes, the patient, patient will be left with a lot of cylinders because you're using a non-toric IUL, but still the patient will be left with uh, very little spherical power. Uh, and that should uh, improve the patient's post-operative visual acuity, the uncorrected visual acuity. I hope I could explain this on this science. I'll show you another example over here. In this case, again, um, and let me bring the pointer over here. So in this case, the patient again has a two diopter uh, cylinder over here. If you put a toric lens, the choice is 24 diopters here with a T5 lens. And in this case, then you will be landing up with almost no spherical or cylinder power. But the patient is not going for a toric lens then what would, we, what would be your choice of IUL power for non-toric lens? If you still go ahead with the 24 diopter, then you will land with a significant amount of spherical power for the patient, right? So the choice of IUL power in this case would be because the patient has a cylinder of two diopters, then take half of the cylinder value and subtract it from the 24 diopters. So in this case, you could go in for a 22.5 diopters or a 23 diopters. 
and in that case if you put a 22.5 diopter the patient's cylinder spherical power will be almost negligible predicted a spherical power would be almost negligible but the cylinder power will be there which you could actually still correct it with your incisions or even if you leave a cylinder power of 2.23 diopters to two diopters because the spherical power would be near zero the patient will still have a good uncorrected uh, visual acuity distance visual acuity i hope i could make my point if you i hope i could make my point uh, about the choice of uh, iul power when you are choosing a non toric iul when patients has significant amount of cylinder and um, if you have questions or comments you can drop on the comment box and you can also follow me at my blog quickguide.org thank you